Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to be answering question number four from the June 2021 Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level at Excel exam. And this question here is about integration. And we have this expression here, which we have to integrate and write each term in the simplest form at the end. Now, in order to do that, in order to integrate this, first I need to simplify this whole expression. So I need to, um, you know, put them as separate terms okay and then I can integrate each term separately so I need to expand this bracket and divide by 4 root x so what I can say is I can say this let me just get this a uh, bit better this is how I like it like this okay so so basically what I can do is I can say this is the, the integral of 3 root x plus 2 times x minus 5 over 4 root x with respect to x is going to be equal to the integral of now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this in index form so i'll write this as 3x to the power of a half plus root 2 times x minus 5 all over 4x to the power of a half again 4x to the power of a half Okay, that will help me to integrate this, um, to simplify it so it's ready for integration. Better. So I haven't integrated yet, that's why I still have the integral and the dx here. But what I need to do now is to expand this bracket. So 3x to the power of a half times x. Now this x is actually x to the power of 1. So you have to add the powers, that gives you x to the power of 3 over 2. So you have 3x to the power of 3 over 2. Then you have 3x to the power of a half times minus 5, which is minus 15 x to the power of a half then you have 2 times x which is 2x then you have 2 times minus 5 which is minus 10 and all of this is over 4x to the power of a half and I have to integrate that with respect to x okay the next step is for me to separate each term okay so you have one common or so you have each of them as a separate denominator so that you can express them as separate terms then you can integrate each term separately so this is going to be 3x to the power of 3 over 2 over 4x to the power of a half minus 15x to the power of a half over 4x to the power of a half now I'm going to put this in a bracket here because that integral is for all of these terms plus 2x over 4x to the power of a half minus 10 over 4x to the power of a half all of that has to be integrated with respect to x. Now I can simplify this. So this gives me the integral of, still haven't integrated, still getting it ready. So that's 3 quarters, x to the power, of, now you have 3 over 2 minus a half, which is going to be a half. It's like 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is, sorry, which is 1, sorry. This is x. Uh, this is 2 over 2. What am I talking about? It's not half, is it? That's like 1 and a half minus a half, which is 1. Okay, so there's 3 over 4 times x to the power of 1, which you don't have to write, minus, and this is 15, these cancel out, so it's 15 over 4. That's a constant. And then the 2 and the 4 cancel out here, and you have x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of a half, so you subtract these, that gives you x to the power of a half, so that's going to be plus a half x to the power of a half. And finally, you have minus 5 over 2 they simplify 10 over 4 gives you 5 over 2 and this x can be written on the top as to the power of minus half that's how you should write it when you're getting ready to integrate all the x's must be written on the numerator okay now i can integrate by adding one to each power and dividing by the new power so once i start integrating i don't have the integral sign anymore so this is going to be three quarters x to the power of 2 divided by 2 okay minus 15x to the power of 1 divided by 1. So 15 over 4x to the power of 1 over 4. Plus you're going to have a half x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, which is going to become like times 2 over 3. And you're going to have minus 5 over 2 x to the power of a half divided by a half. And then I'm going to have, very important, plus c the constant of integration you must always write that otherwise you'll definitely lose a mark because it could have 
when you're diff when you differentiate this to get that there could have been a constant that got cancelled out when you uh, differentiate it so now this is going to give us 3 over 8 x squared minus 15 over 4 x um, and this is going to be two thirds so it'd be plus two thirds times half so because when you're dividing by a fraction you're multiplying by its reciprocal that will be x to the power of 3 over 2 and this will be minus 5 over 2 times and remember this half when you divide it by half it's like you're multiplying by 2 this x to the power of a half plus c and finally we can just write it in a simplest form this 2 cancels with this 2 and this 2 cancels with that 2 so you're left with the final form is 3 over 8 x squared minus 15 over 4 x and this leaves us with one third plus one third x to the power of three over two and it's minus five x to the power of a half plus c and there's the final answer and we have completed that question so important for you to simplify it by expanding the brackets um, write them in index form is better rather than third form and then separate each term out separately this whole this is under one denominator separate into separate denominators each term and simplify get it ready for integration by writing the all the x terms on the numerator and then add one to the power divided by the new power and you get your answer so there's the answer for question number four from p1 june 2021 other questions from this paper you could find in the playlist which should appear somewhere in this region here at the end of the video um, other questions about integration can be found in this playlist you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link here on the top of the page there will be a card appearing taking you to other p1 papers that you might want to watch and also um, other papers like p2 p3 p4 m1 s1 and also igcse papers are linked in the description below the video thank you for watching and um, see you soon